so we'll talk about vectors okay what are vectors so what are vectors vectors are are you know complex uh, uh, data type right uh, you know which can store more than one value correct and what we discussed was so it can store see uh, uh, the integer okay integer float okay you have this numeric okay it's called double right float double uh, numeric okay so these are or even our complex and uh, um, uh, uh, complex right what else did we discuss okay so boolean right or logical right it's called logical here in our so all these are called atomic um, element right okay this is, this is store one value but our vector okay vector can store multiple values so how do we do let's say i create a vector one okay i want to store values from um say 10 to 20 okay so i'll write 10 colon 20 right and when you print vec one so you see that okay so it has printed from 10 to 20 including both the numbers right so when i say 10 colon 20 it is 10 11 12 so on up to 20 right um if you want to create a sequence of uh, float numbers okay so here is the integer right and the difference is a uh, one right but let's say if you want to create um um okay uh, of double okay so let's try to do that so vec one Okay, and I'm saying 5.5 colon 10.5. Okay, so what happens? So see, the difference is always one. The difference is always one, right? So you get 5.5, uh, 6.5, 7.5, 10.5. Okay, now let's say I take same thing here and i put 10.6 or 7 then what happens so see so it prints up to 10.5 and after 10.5 okay logically it should be 11.5 but 11.5 is not in the range right so what happens it will stop there it will stop at 10.5 itself right now let's say you'll tell me that I don't want multiple of, I mean, I don't want difference of one. You want difference of two or 0.5, right? So yes, you can customize it as well. So we have something called as sequence in uh, in R, okay? So if I say print, okay? And I say uh, sequence, okay? Five comma uh, 19 comma, Right, or you know, I can instead of doing this, I can say vec one, vec one sequence, and then I say vec one. Okay, so if I do this way, what happens? So, see, five, seven. Since I said uh, two here, so sequence will accept three input. Okay first the starting value second the ending value okay and third the step okay step how many times okay so here you see when i say 5 comma 19 okay it starts with 19 go up to 19 and the difference is uh, you know i gave uh, two so it will not be six but it will be seven okay so now let's say instead of two i give three then what do you think the output would be? Can you guess? Guess, guess, guess.
Gauri, Keshav, talking to you guys. Um, I'm a little confused what it would do when there's three numbers. Yeah, same. Oh, so what's the question? Like, I'm confused what it would print out if there's three numbers. Okay, so what did I say? What's the first number? What does first number stands for? Like the starting. Starting, great. Yes, that's right. And what is the last, uh, second number, middle number? Um, well, usually it's like the ending. Sorry? Like the, the final number. The final number, right? The ending number, right. And what is the third number? The step. Oh yeah, Again, yeah, yeah. So if if you have if you're climbing up a ladder, right? So generally by default you will take one step at a time. But let's say you know you are in playful mood, then probably you'll jump two steps, sometimes three steps. That's what it says. So mm -hmm. right. So uh, if I start with five and nineteen and third number, I give three step three. So what would be the output? Yeah. So it would be like five, eight, eight, eleven. Exactly. 5, 8, 11, 14, then? 7, uh, yeah, 17. 17, then? Then does it just print out 19? 17, and then? Does it end at 17, or no, would it, it will print not. out? Right, because yeah. after, uh, sorry, uh, so 5, 8, 11, 14, 14 plus 3 is 17, correct? Mm -hmm. 17 plus yeah. 3 is what? Um, it's it's out of the uh, exactly. Order. So it stops there. Okay. okay. So when you run, Kesha, did you get it? Um, not really. Can you explain it again? Okay. So what is the first number? Five stands for the beginning. Beginning, right? And nineteen stands for the ending. Ending, right? And three stands for I don't. No. A step. How many steps do you take? Okay. Oh. By default, when we don't provide, it is one, right? That's what we have seen here. 10 to 20, even 5.5 .5 to 10.5, we saw. Even in the if you give point also, the, by default, it is one. So 5.5, 6.5, 10.5, 5, so on. But if you don't want it to be a default one step, you want to give it your value, right? So here I give three. So how do you, you start from five, reach 19 and jump three steps in between what that's what it says oh so, so five, you like take three steps at a time exactly so uh, after five would come what um eight eight and after eight 11 and after 11 14 after 14 17 after 17 20 but 20 is out of the scope, right? Because ending so is 19, right? Yeah. So you stop at 17. You don't go or uh, even step more than that. Got it? Yeah. Okay. So see here. 5, 8, 11, 14, and 17. That's where it stops at 17. Now let's say if I make it as uh, 0.5 or may I'll say 1.5. Then what do you think the output would be? You can practice it later, Keshav. So what do you think the output would be here? It'll be 18.5. No, no. What will the first number be? Oh, um, five. Five. Second number? 6.5. Exactly. Third number? Uh, eight. Exactly. Right. And you can, you know, um, and that's how it will go. Right. So five, six, one, five, eight, nine point five, eleven, twelve point five, so on up to eighteen point five. Because next number would be twenty, which is out of the range, so it stops at eighteen point five. Okay. So this is an example of creating vector, simple vector. Right. Then next one, which we have already seen before, was to create a vector using C, right? C function. So uh, using C function, right? So we say vec2 
okay and i'll say equal to sorry okay c right you can define the values here so here it is homogeneous values right what it means is you cannot give values from different data type i can't give integer and then i say true and then i say hello. are you playing a game keshav are you no i'm i'm no. muted our system just got uh, rebooted or something that wasn't for me <laughs> okay okay just ignore it okay so uh, print vec 2 right so 2 so is gauri on the call or she got dropped can you hear us gauri no i'm back sorry okay. no problem so here you see vec 2 and we say equal to c of right so c is a function and then we provide the values in it right so we're providing three values and um, you know so i said that the uh, uh, this is of uh, this contains only homogeneous values that means all the members have to be of same data type that's the property of vector okay so vector okay the difference between vector and the list okay we'll talk about list a little bit maybe in next session so in vector all the members have to have same data type okay so if I say five true and hello, since hello is a uh, is a string or your uh, character, okay, you can't convert hello to boolean, or cannot convert to integer, right? But everything you can convert integer as well as uh, logical or boolean to character, right? So that is possible. So that's what R will automatically convert or translate your number five and two to string. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. so see, that's what output is all of all is of your string. Okay. It it has to be well, a string. Okay, because one member is string. So, so what we have seen is yes, we can store multiple values. You can store customized values. Okay, and uh, you know it has to be of same data type if you don't give some data type r will convert it into a common data type okay if i give integer and uh, double if i give five i give 5.5 so then what will be the uh, type of your uh, vector like wait by type do you mean class or wait, could you repeat the question? Okay, so question is, let me do this. Five and 5.5. .5. So if I run print vec2. Won't it just print out five and 5.5? .5? Okay, but these are of different data types, right? Okay. So here it will be 5.0. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Right? There... Because, yes, it has to be of same type. You can't have integer and double together, right? It has to be of same type. So when you give 5, of course, 5.5 .5 can't be converted into 5 because if you do that, you're losing information. Not the right thing to do. But 5 can be written as 5.0. So it will, you know, it will convert your integer into double. Okay? Awesome. Now, let's say I want to um, add a two uh, vector, right? And I think we, has, we have done this before as well, right? You can add, subtract two vectors. So we have vec1. Let me make it vec3 here. Okay. Uh, so no, uh, you may not be able to do that. So let me create uh, two vector, right? So vec one, right? So I'm going to add same node, like so three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, so make it. 
right now i'm going to say print right so you can perform okay all this mathematical operation arithmetic operations on vector okay and each element gets that so if i say uh, 3 plus 30 so 369 and 13 so it has to be same size first of all if i okay if i let's say if i delete this and when i try to run it you get error right is they are not of same size right so if you have four elements here also you have to have four elements in the other vector so i say 23 now when you run it okay so it does each element is getting added subtracted right so that's how vector works okay so let's say uh, keep saying yes or no guys okay so if you say no yes i know that you know there's no question there so keep keep responding something right so i i know yeah okay good keshav mm, yeah good so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to see how to access the members from vector so here you have four members right 36912 i don't want all of them i want just one i want the number at first position so what i'll do i will say print vec1 if i do vec1 i'll get complete vec1 right i'll say square bracket 1 okay so if i say 1 so you see you got 3 here in r counting starts from 1 okay so when i say 1 it means i'm looking for first member if i say 2 i'm looking for second member if i say 3 i'm looking for third member if i say 4 i'm looking for fourth member right so if I go and say three here, what do you think will be printed? Hmm? Um, 12. No, 12 is four, isn't it? Nine is three. But doesn't it start from zero? No, not in R. In Python, yes, but not in oh, R. Okay. In R, it starts from one. Okay. okay starts from when we one. did lists in JavaScript recently, yeah. it starts from yeah. zero. In, in Java, JavaScript, yes. Even in C, okay, it starts from zero. But R, it starts from one. Okay. okay. R doesn't talk about zero. Yes, true. And see, there, if you had done this 10 to 20, it would have gone up to 19, not up to 20, right? It oh, yeah. goes one less, not including, okay? So R is a little different, okay? R will go up to 20. R starts from one, right? So, yes. Okay, so this is how you access. Uh, now, let's say, um, okay, so we'll talk about T. Okay, so let's say we have this here. I'm going to create vector three, okay? And I say T of C of two, three, four. And I say print. Okay, so what happened? You see. So when you say T, okay, T will add the index as well. So what it says is, it's one dimensional, you have first row and the first element. So see, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Uh, so um, we'll talk about sorting. Okay, uh, sorting is the other technique that we did a uh, sorting manually, right? Uh, using loop. Okay, but we do have uh, some inbuilt functions. Okay, just like we saw some functions in string. Here also we have some inbuilt functions, okay? Um, so I'm gonna talk about some of the functions 
in Okay, so let me create a vector for, okay, and, and let me add some numbers. I say five, nine, minus 12, 45, 23, minus two, 90. Okay, so there's the, the numbers here. And I say sort, Vec or something. Okay, you can use dot as well as so. I say sort dot vec four equal to okay. So uh, your vec four is the uh, you know vector which has the elements. Okay, I want to sort them. So I'll say sort of four. Okay, and the output is stored in sort vec. I'm going to say print vec four. And when you run it, so see, you got sorted, right? So did you get it? By default, it's sorted in increasing order. Okay, now let's yeah. say if you want to. Okay. Now let's say uh, if you want to do in decreasing order. So we have a parameter called as decreasing and as a decreasing equal to true. So it's called parameter. So we have to add a parameter decrease. By default, decreasing equal to false. Okay, that's what it means. If I do false, you get the same result. So that means if you don't provide this parameter, by default, your parameter is false. So you get same answer, you know, but if you want to, do decreasing order, you say decreasing equal to true, and it will then put it in the, uh oh, what happened? But anyway, I need to do vector four, but it shouldn't be the problem here. Oh, decreasing equal to, no. Decreasing, spelling is correct. Yeah, it is. So yeah, so see, it did reverse print. Right? So this is how you can do the reverse uh, sorting in the vector. Okay. So okay. So this is this is what uh, you know we will. Uh, we have learned in, in vector. We'll stop here on the session. Let's do some program now. Okay. Now uh, I'll give you some assignment as well. And uh, uh, okay. So let's let's see this. Okay. So you have vector four, right? Now vector four. If I do uh, print vec four of this is one two three four five six seven right if i do seven i'll get okay uh oh okay so this is square bracket right not simple bracket okay so let me okay so when i run it of course you get 90. Now, if I say vector eight, vector eight, I want to print it. Vector eight. So what do you expect? NA, okay? That means not available. It did not give error. It did not give you error, saying that number is not there. What it did, it give a NA. That means number is not there. Okay, so when I say vec of eight equal to 
100. Okay, so I'm going to run this and now I run this. Okay, so, so now you see when I'm trying to assign, make is not there. That's why we got error. Okay, so what happened when you say VEC 4 of 8? Okay, now in other languages, it would have given error because we will have only defined seven members to the vector. Okay, whether it's your JavaScript or Python or any other language, CC plus will give you error because we have only defined seven members. You can't directly say, you know, eight member equal to 100. But vector is special. What it does, what it has done is, it has, it has by default which we do, which we do, we haven't seen. See, that's why when I say print vec vec for eight, it did not give error. It did not say that oh out of index, okay, out of bound, out of index, out of range. That's the kind of error you get in other languages. But even if you give seven seven members, it will assign seven members to this vector, and other members will have, other members will have, n a. That means it is present, but not seen. And I say vector of eight equal to 100, automatically vector of eight became 100. Okay, NA got changed to 100, right? So, the, so this is how you can add dynamically. You can keep on adding values dynamically. Okay, so now the assignment is, I want to use, I want to, um, um, I want you to, Okay, so one more hint I'll give you before I tell you. So I give i equal to four. Okay, and if I say print vec four of i. So what do you get? Fourth member, which is 45, right? So two programs I wanted to practice. One is, Assignment one, write a program to input marks of five subjects in a vector. What we did earlier was we created five different variables, right? Now I wanted to use it in the same variable. So you create a vector and keep adding, okay? Keep adding um, the values to it, okay? So, okay. So, okay, and then calculate average, average and grade. Okay, so you, you have your own uh, formula for grade. So I'm gonna say, use your own for mula for grade calculation okay whatever you feel at least give at least have four grades okay so this is one second is okay we have seen the sorting right i want you to create your own sorting logic of a vector so input a vector values using for loop and sort them using if else Okay, sort using if else. Got it? Any question yeah. assignment? Yes, no, maybe. No. No. So Wait, I'm going to go. Yeah. The part. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Like the input a vector value using for loop, that part. Uh, vector value, sorry. Like the second part of the assignment. Second part of the uh, first. So this is the second assignment two. Okay. Oh, is that assignment two? Yeah, sorry. Um, could you explain that, please? Okay. So what I want to do is I want you to first read the values, okay, using for loop. Okay. So I'm not going to type the code. I'm going to give you the hint here. So say for uh, i from say one to five, okay, and then you will say um, values, right? So you will say values 
of i okay and you can do the input from the user right how do you do input from the user remember you forgot no refer your notes. okay refer your notes and get it from the user okay so you'll get it from the user so once you got it okay now you need to create um, so this is your values right so create another vector too okay and you can use any technique to okay so i'm going to demonstrate the technique that we're going to use okay one second okay so um let's say you have four five ten two nine and six Okay. So is the user inputting all these values? Yes, user will input. So user will input in this order. Okay, so I entered, you know, I said one, two, six. Okay, and I entered four, five, ten, two, nine, six. Okay, so you got six values, right? Or but you know, so do they separate yeah. it with a comma or something? So like, how does the computer detect that they're different values? We have already discussed this. Refer your notes. Oh, okay. We have read two ways of um, reading a value okay one simple one you can read one value each right and you can you know you enter the value four and you hit enter you enter six you hit enter okay right so the loop will uh, read each of the values okay now again okay, see if you want to submit the assignment you don't have to wait for the next uh, uh, sunday you send me the program okay in in the chat and you tell me that you got it or you didn't get it okay so if you didn't get it i will you know i'll help you okay so that we don't we shouldn't waste our week because we're meeting only one once in a week and that too probably for less than an hour right so if you have any problem to ping me in the chat itself okay and probably in a few hours i'll reply so you know you should be able to complete these assignments before right so if you have any problem like this what you're asking you try and then you tell me that you know, I'm not getting, how do I proceed? Is that okay with Keshav and Gauri? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here what we'll do is you'll enter for you hit enter. Then again, loop will run second time. Again, you hit enter. The loop will run third time. Again, you enter the value and hit enter. So on. The loop will run six times. If you give six times, you get six values. Right? Now, so there are multiple techniques of uh, doing sorting. Okay. Uh, what we will be doing, we will do bubble sort. This technique which I'm going to explain is called bubble sort algorithm. Okay. So now if you type in Google, what is bubble sort algorithm, you will get it. Okay. We're going to use bubble sort algorithm. So what it does is you need to run loop two times. Okay. One time to read each value from left to right. And second time to, to read the second value because we need to compare two values. Right. So this is how I remember B. So B B together, right? Uh, here you have double B, right? B B together. So we always check two consecutive values together. Because I'm going to compare four and five. I'm going to compare five and ten. I'm going to compare ten and two, two and nine, so on. Okay, so see this technique. The first value that you need to compare, that you need to check is four and five and let's say your objective is to do increasing order right your objective is to do in the increasing order that means lower on the left and higher on the right right so you're expecting two uh, four five six nine ten to be the output right so what uh, uh, bubble sort does okay is first in first pass you start from four and five so between four and five do we need to make any changes? No, it looks good. We don't have to make any changes, right? Four has to be on the left and five has to be on the right. Okay. So first pass, first iteration. Okay. No change. Don't do anything. Second iteration. What happens? You're comparing four and 10. Four and 10. Sorry, five and 10, right? Five and 10. Again, no change required. You want 10 to be on the right, five on the left. Okay. So no change. Now, third iteration you see, 10 and 2, 
it is not increasing it is decreasing order so if it is not if if you know if your fourth value is not greater than third value then you will interchange the number i will move you know 10 here and 2 here okay <coughs> i'm sorry please excuse me okay <coughs> so it became 4 5 it will remain like this here also it remain like this now here what happens is 2 will come here and 10 will come here. Okay. Now, so change. In fourth iteration, you are going to compare 9 and 10 and 9. So 10 and 9, again, you need to make the change here. So in this iteration, okay, you will move 9 here and 10 here. Okay. And fifth, you see, when 6 values, um, you you know now this is fixed you will find no change nine and six yes so nine weeks will interchange do you get it so you try if you have any question we'll connect through whatsapp okay we'll communicate through whatsapp for next one week and anyway you have next session so we'll end it here and okay. we'll see you uh, next week but let's communicate through whatsapp okay any question anything you, let's let's not stop communicating okay thank you okay, sure? Yeah. Okay, great.